What's up, YouTube? For the love here with an action figure tour review for Super 7's Silverhawks Quicksilver. I bought both. They made so far in the vac metal form Quicksilver and Steelheart. Now, the three behind you, well, excuse me, behind him, are the ones that I stopped. I bought those three and I heard that they were going to make these in vac metal and reissue some of the other figures, so I stopped right there. But the vac metal, I've got him out of the packaging now. His packaging is over here. Let's see if I can reach it without knocking everything down. Here's his packaging in case you were interested. Here's the bio you can read. A little chromium picture, nothing on the sides. This is the front of the box. So Hulk's quick silver toy version. You can see me back there, Super 7. And that's that. Now, let's get into Quicksilver and the reason why they didn't want to make this. Now, I got this from, I believe, Big Bad Toy Store. I'm not even sure, but I believe that's who it was. You can see the nice reflection. They give you a microfiber cloth. I don't play with toys. My daughter says I do. I do. If you touch a toy, you're playing with it. That's what she says. But I don't play with toys. I put them in one pose and I put them on a the shelf. And when I clean the shelf, that's when I move them again. But until then, they give you a nice microfiber cloth here. But... I'm not going to touch him that much. And he has a couple imperfections. And this is where the problem is going to be. Because these wings were behind him in the plastic. So whoever shipped it to me couldn't see him. Perfect, imperfection here. See if I can uh, punch in a little bit for you. That's so nice. See all my figures over there on the side. See that? That's a bad imperfection right here. And he has one on his chest that you can't see. But that's not good. And, you know, you're not going to be able to, if you order it from somebody and you're not in store, you're not going to be able to see those imperfections. And like I said, those wings come behind them. So you would have to open the package and check back, front, up, down, in and out. And nine times out of ten, you're not going to be able to do that. So now that I've got that out of the way, be very careful. If you notice where his arms are, you see that very bright little spot? That's a piece of vac metal chrome that has already chipped off from switching his arms because this is the pose he'll be in while I have him. Now, when you pop those arms off, be very careful. It's not the most robust figure I've ever touched. It's very light, and you'll see when you get it in hand. It's very light, and the, and the paint is very good, but it's also very fragile, like this... Pale skin on his arms. You can see right there where it's a little rubbed off. I don't, if you touch it, if you pop the arms out, no matter how gentle you are, it seems like it's going to chip away. So if you're out here posing and flying and doing all these things with the figures, they're not going to last very long. But if they just sit on the shelf, they should be fine. But here is accessories down here. Let's see if I can back up a little bit and get you accessories. He comes with two extra arms without the wings, of course. And he comes with some hands here. He comes with six hands total, three chrome, and three flesh colored hands splayed out, one for holding. My camera's not really going to zoom all that well into that. But, and he also comes with the mast head, which I'll probably, you know, maybe occasionally maybe put on him, but not. That wasn't my big thing. And that's what he comes with as far as accessories. So three right hands, three left hands, and one right arm, one left arm. The hands that he has on him, I switched those out and put them on him in the flight pose type hands. So, like I said, let's take a look. I'm not going to show you articulation. I'm not going to ruin my figure trying to show articulation. I bought him with my own money. They didn't send them to me, so... You know, let's take a look at the back here without me getting a million fingerprints on them. As you can see, I don't see any imperfections here. Maybe you might looking at the uh, camera, but this is the bottom of his feet. He has some articulation down here. One of his feet came off very easily, but it just slides on. It's a little peg down there. I didn't notice any chipping or anything. He has some rotation in the uh, thigh area. No rotation at the boot. There's a little bit of swivel here and up and down arms, bicep swivel. 
wrist articulation. No double jointed elbows, not like you would need it. Matter of fact, there's no joint in these elbows at all, but these elbows are not double jointed on the arms, just single joints. So that's something to be aware of in case you wanted to get some dynamic poses. Let's zoom in a little bit. Very, very nice. Excuse my shaky hands. Very nice face scope. And as you can see, that paint work is just spot on as far as the textures. Looks very natural. But, yeah. Let's see if I can get him to stand back up without falling. Yeah, this thing is going to be a nightmare if it falls off the shelf. I'm telling you right now, you better have him in a secure place and a good setup. Yeah, it looks like it'll stay. I'll keep an eye on him, though. Doing this from behind the camera. Okay, and here is Tally Hawk. Okay, so we have him there, and that's about all I can say. If you want to see a size comparison of him and Monstar here, I love Monstar, the original Monstar, by the way. Let me roll this up a little bit. There you go, so you can see him. That's the size comparison with him, Monstar, Buzz here. I guess you would. this would be the non-powered up form of Monstar. Here's Monstar's Hawk. A little about the same size I guess as Tally Hawk. And yeah, so that like I said, this was just gonna be a quick review, quick overview. So you can get an idea. You know, I want to keep it less than ten minutes. You see my setup's not the greatest. I got this material back here, it got all kinds of lint and stuff on it. You know, I'm not a professional reviewer and like I said Nobody is really interested in my review, so if somebody, if this video does well, I'll try to do better next time, and so forth. But like I said, I also have Still Heart, which let's see if I can reach it without knocking everything down. The last figures came in an outer box, but these seem to just come in these window packages. And this is her, and if this gets enough views, I'll, I'll review her as well. I should have just did them both at the same time, but I figured, you know, I'd hold off and see. If somebody wanted to see it, that's the front of the packaging, and that's her in all her glory. Like I said, I was always a big Silverhawks fan, and when these came to fruition, I was like, ah, how could I resist? But that's it for me. Like I said, be very careful with Quicksilver, because he's very fragile. Let's punch in on him a little bit. He's very fragile, and be very careful when you put him on a shelf. Make sure you have him in a nice pose or in a good place, because if he falls... It's going to be a disaster. But, like I said, I'm for the love. And whatever you do, do it for the love. Thanks for watching.